Okay, I'm out today, so I'm counting on you guys to work hard. And here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be making flags. And we're going to go over a few contracts that you've been learning about and make sure that you're good at, um, with them and as well as uh, learn a couple new ones, practice with them, and, and see how good you can get with them. There's a challenge to make as many of these flags as possible. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with uh, the overlay function. So the way it works, right, the name is overlay, and um, you have to put in two images. That's the domain, image, image, and it produces a single image, which if you can read here, this is what it says. The contract places the first image on top of the second. Now I want you to try this bit of code on the definition side, then evaluate satellite on the interaction side. So we're on the open up Wii Scheme, get a brand new uh, code going, or a brand new file going. Don't don't mess with your game at all. And then on the definition side, go ahead and define this value satellite. Okay, define it. Put in this code here, overlay. We're putting in an image. The first image is a circle using the circle contract. The second image is a rectangle using the rectangle contract. And uh, once you've got that code written in there, then you can uh, hit run and go to the interaction side and type in satellite and let it evaluate this function and uh, make sure you get the image that, that you should. Okay, after you've done that, then you're going to try rotating your image. So we're going to rotate that satellite here. So the rotate contract kind of looks like this. Which, uh, name of the contract is rotate. Domain is number and image. And the uh, range is the image. So what it does is it rotates that image, whatever image you put in there, the given number of degrees. So try rotating your satellite. Now, what we've done is just re redefined satellite here. So I, you know, I've just gone in there and changed satellite a little bit and what you see is that I've still got everything else for satellite overlay circle rectangle solid red but now I'm adding in rotate and I want to rotate at 45 degrees um, you might even try this you can add a separate line give it a new name like rotate and uh, or maybe define um, rotate dash satellite okay and then go rotate 45 and just put in satellite satellite if you left that in there before um, you know in your in your if you've already defined satellite it will take that as an image and should produce the same thing so go ahead and give that a try and see what you can make all right now I want you to try using overlay circle and rectangle to see if you can make an image like this it's just a white rectangle with a red circle in it and it's an image like the Japanese flag once you've done that see if you can make the Somalia flag okay and once you've got the Somalia flag we're going to go over this next one. This is put image, okay? So sometimes, if you look at these other ones, maybe we're just okay with overlaying a star directly on top of a blue field, but it might not go exactly where you want it on the blue field. Same thing with this. The red circle might not be exactly where you want it on top of the white rectangle. So if you're running into some trouble there, hopefully you, you're going to go down here and see use the put image contract so what the put image contract has has four elements in its domain right one is image then a number another number and then an image and it produces a single image okay so um, what it does is it places an image which is that first image at the position x y on a second image so this is when you want to have your, you know, if you want to put the star in a specific place, you've got to explain where you want it. Now, just a quick reminder, the x-axis will be running along the bottom of your rectangle over here, right? It goes from zero and it goes across like that. Your y-axis goes up the left side here. It's vertical. And so the y values start at zero and go up there. So you got to try a couple of numbers here and see if you can get your your images to be placed exactly in the right place here's a really good challenge for you to start okay and just try putting in this code you're gonna put image it says star 50 solid black so you're putting a star at this location on top of another put image which is a circle placed on this location on top of a square okay so see if you can get that done um, and then later on, try changing 7575. Uh, see if you can move it someplace else 
um, and, and and see what happens. Okay, it's the idea is to get real comfortable with placing things in a specific location because in your game you're going to want to have you know locations very much figured out. Where's your scoreboard going to be? Where you know where do you want your players to to be, etc. So you've got to get really good at this idea of this is the x value and this is the y value here, right? So you're using those numbers to place this star on top of the other image. And you're using them again. Here's 75. That's your x value. 75 is your y value. And that's to place this red solid circle on top of this red solid uh, black square. So just try moving it around and see what you can do. After that, you're going to try and see if you can make some of these flags. And they're going to get a little complicated. So good luck with them. First you have Indonesia then Nigeria, then you have France, Switzerland, United Arab Emirates, Chile, and Panama. Okay, good luck. See if you can get them all done. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to save this file. Okay, you should be logged in when you're doing this and saving your file. And um, you can rewatch this video as much as you need to for some help. But um, uh, save the file so that you can share it with me on Monday. I'd really like to see how many of these you got done. Okay, thank you.